A few months back, I joined a game jam that absolutely brought me to my knees. But now, I intend to take my revenge. And so I joined another game jam where you have to make a game in 3 days or 72 hours. But this time, I intend to win. Bro, this makes the game unplayable. And we have to submit this shit in five hours. Okay, so the team just got announced and it's Rite of Passage. What the fuck even is that? Now, before we jump into this video, I didn't create this game by myself. I made a team of five people, including myself, and they were all absolutely amazing. And you might get to meet some during the video. So for those that, like me, have no idea what the f rite of passage is supposed to mean, it's basically when a person has to go through a sort of ritual or test to join a group, often coming at the price of having to leave his old group. Boys having to do some manly tests to become men, apprentice having to do some tests to become master, or some ritual to join a religious group. And with that in mind, me and the others started to brainstorm. We came up with some very cool ideas. But we ended up choosing the idea that seemed the most doable in the time frame we had. What's the idea? Well, we are going to make a game about a witch apprentice that has to fight through loads of enemies, collect hidden souls and then use those souls to summon a demon which will be the end boss. And after defeating it, you gain the powers of that demon and lose your apprentice status to become a proper witch. So yeah, we're basically remaking Hogwarts Legacy, but in three days, I guess. And now that we have the idea and we have the ground foundation for the game we want to make, we went ahead and started working. 12 hours have passed already, but we made quite some progress. The character movement is done and we started working on enemies. I made a floating weapon enemy that is supposed to be possessed by restless spirits. I gave them this idle floating animation and a simple attack. On the other hand, Stein, our other programmer, made a health and damage system for our character and our enemies. He also created a zombie enemy. Meet Steve. Our environment designer and 3D artist both worked together to create a color scheme for the game. It wasn't all smooth sailing though, because we also had our first technical difficulties, but nothing too bad. Overall, we made really good progress. However, we have one teammate that hasn't really been showing up, so hopefully he'll be back by tomorrow. He never did came back. He got sick. So... We're one teammate down on day one. New day, new adventure. I slept a good seven hours. We have still 53 hours left on the clock and I'm ready to go all in today. And with my refreshed motivation and energy, I finished up my weapons. I tried to give them all a pretty cool and unique feel. We have the sword that spins when you get near it, the spear that points at you before going at you at full speed, and the hammer that just floats over your head before ramming down onto you, squishing your head into some juicy pulp. Oh, I almost forgot about Jimmy. So Jimmy is a gargoyle, but Jimmy isn't like every other gargoyle. He's an undercover enemy that disguises himself as a normal decoration asset until you get too close to where he activates and then proceeds to attack you with the same brutality as the hammer. Yeah, Jimmy doesn't fuck around. I also worked on another core feature of the game, which is the spells. Our witch has to have some spells to defend herself and defeat the horde of enemies. And so I worked on the first spell. This spell is called the water spell. The spells are really nothing too complicated. It's really just a ball with a cool texture and Unreal Engine projectile components slapped onto it. And so I quickly finished up the water spell and started working on the fire spell. The fire spell basically is the same thing as the water spell, but orange and fiery. The problem now is the two spells look very identical. They are way too similar. And so I try to make them look more interesting. You guys know what's coming now. 
<laughs> yeah, I definitely made a lot of shit glow. And I'm pretty sure it's one of the regions for the huge problem we have at the end of the video. But I'm not gonna spoil it just yet. On the other hand, Stein created the first prototype for the boss. It will be a flying demon boss inspired by these weird doom creatures. Anyways, shout out to our 3D artist Iggy because I'm pretty sure he was the one that came up with this boss idea. And so credit to him to turning our demon boss into a ball. Finally, our environment artist and our 3D modeler made some cool looking assets and made a pretty creepy cool looking map. So yeah, that was our second day. Good morning, my friends. I didn't sleep that well. I had some weird dreams and overall a pretty rough night. Probably a side effect of working 17 hours straight with minimal breaks. But I will say the wake up wasn't that rough. I feel surprisingly refreshed and actually ready for the day. And luckily so, because this balls loving idiot doesn't know it yet, but he's not getting any more sleep for the next 25 hours. Good luck, Loki of the past. Let's get to work, shall we? So I've spent this morning making a material that would give my flying weapons a glowing outline, so they're easier to see. I also added some sounds to my spells and enemies, and I'd say it sounds pretty cool. But one thing worries me a bit. We are using this source control program called Perforce and usually everyone is synced up to it and can simply upload their work to our common project. But our environment artist Bluff is unable to do so and we are all kind of unsure of how to fix it. Hopefully we'll manage to fix it today. We have 18 hours left and I'll admit the pressure and the stress is on the rise. I managed to finish up my ghost enemy weapons. I also added one additional spell to the roster. Say hello to the earth spell. I will admit I'm very happy how it turned out. It feels a bit like earth bending in Avatar, which is exactly what I was going for. Stein on his side finished the boss mechanics with the summoning and the whole boss fight as well. And I got to say he did an amazing job. It looks really cool as well. <laughs> but we have a huge problem. We still haven't fixed the fact that Bluff cannot upload the map he's been working on for the past two days and we lost so much time trying to fix the problem we still haven't fixed it and i'm not gonna lie i am slowly starting to panic a lot i have good news and bad news the good news is we finally managed to upload bluff's map the bad news is that one of the two maps is completely broken and we basically have to rebuild it from scratch. To make it worse, Bluff needs to go to bed since he has school the next day. Meaning that on top of all the things I still need to do, I now also need to rebuild the whole freaking map by myself since two people can't work on it at the same time. This is going to take me so long. On a good note, Iggy finished the boss model and he looks sick. I've now been awake for 20 hours straight and I honestly can't remember last time I actually took a break. But I have finally stitched the map back together and I now have to add all the AI to make sure everything is balanced and playable. Okay. At, uh, at this point, everything is basically done. I just have to do some bug fixing. The problem is that every time I fix one bug, I see two more bugs pop up. I've also reached this weird point where I'm not actually feeling tired anymore, but I know that I am tired because if I get distracted for just more than three seconds, I completely forgot what I was doing, which obviously in this case doesn't help at all. Everything seemed to be going fine. The game was finished. I played it through a few times and it plays and feels well. And so I go to package the game, which basically means I make it into an EXE program that you can launch on your PC. 
And that's where everything went downhill. Bro, this makes the game unplayable. And we have to submit this shit in five hours. And I don't know what to do anymore. The game might play very nicely in the Unreal Engine editor, but after packaging it, it becomes so laggy that it's unplayable. Man, I'm about to break. And that probably has something to do with the fact that I haven't slept or taken any significant break in 25 fucking hours. Anyways, I managed to make the game run at 40 to 50 FPS on my PC, which still isn't great considering I have a freaking 3080 in my machine. At best, that will be 30 FPS on a mid-tier PC. At this point, I'm so tired, I just can't be bothered anymore, and so I submitted the game and went to sleep. So, did we win? Well, yes and no. We didn't end up in first place or even second place. We got third place. And this might seem pretty good, but considering there were only eight submissions, this places us at slightly above average. But in any case, if you wish to play this game, it is completely free on itch, and I actually slightly fixed the frame rate issue, so you should hopefully be able to play it. Oh, and have you already seen my video about my first ever game jam? If not, you should really click here and watch it, because that one also went wrong.